But here's what's going on. Uh, when NBC News announced they were hiring former RNC chair Ronna McDaniel last week, a lot of her new co-founder, new co-workers were not shy about voicing their objection. Take a look. We believe NBC News should seek out conservative Republican voices to provide balance in their election coverage, but it should be conservative Republicans, not a person who used her position of power to be an anti-democracy election denier. The reality is this isn't a difference of opinion. She literally backed an illegal scheme to steal an election in the state of Michigan. You wouldn't hire a made man like a mobster to work at a DA's office, right? <laughs> you, you wouldn't hire a pickpocket to work as a TSA screener. <laughs> and so I, I find the decision to put her on the payroll ex inexplicable. And I, and I hope they will reverse their decision. So yesterday, NBC News brass announced they were terminating <coughs> Ronna's contract, <coughs> which has sparked... which is sparking yet another debate about journalistic integrity. Watch. I think they made a terrible decision and they allowed the MSNBC bleed to take over their network and the cult has taken over the news division and it's gonna hurt the 74 million people who voted for Donald Trump are not gonna watch NBC News. You had this cabal of aging superstars at the network who insisted that this person was somehow inappropriate. Says who and according to whom. It really well, is outrageous. This is censorship. So, <laughs> were they right to let her go, or will this reinforce <laughs> complaints about mainstream media bias? Well, she, one of the things that she told Kristen Welker on NBC, I guess, what's that? Press. Meet, the, Meet press. the press. She said, when you work for the RNC, you take one for the team. So that means that working for the Republican Party means lying and enabling criminal behavior. Right? Because now she says she's different now. She's not the same person anymore. So she was lying then. Mm. So that, to me, is the reason they can't take her, because you can't really trust where she's coming from. She's an election denier. She supports Trump. She changed her name from Romney. Did you know that? Yeah. She, she's Romney's niece. She changed her name to Daniels because she wanted to be in, embraced by tr Trump, who hated Romney. That well, really... it makes Daniels her married name, but she took Romney out. She of took Romney yeah. out. Yeah. So I think this underscores that yeah. the media <laughs> is struggling with how to cover somebody who is a historically unfit candidate, but also the GOP frontrunner. And I said it here the other day, I think it is incredibly important to have Republican voices on the airwaves. We represent a portion of the country. But here's you the distinction. Like you. Well, <laughs> like me. No, <laughs> here's the distinction. Some of the names I rattled off before were sort of never Trumpers like myself, people who said they're not going to support him. I'd go further. I appear on CNN with Republicans regularly who still support <coughs> Donald Trump, but they never lied about the election. They denounced January 6th. And when he says things in, or talks about policies that are dangerous, they call it out because they're independent from him. They're not beholden to him. Yeah. The problem with Ronna McDaniel is her career was built around supporting Trump. She did engage in some incredibly anti-democratic and un-American, I would argue, behavior. And now you don't know who she's beholden to. Is she yeah. going to say one thing because NBC is there? Is she holding out for future opportunities in the Republican Party? And I talked to Brian about this when he was in the process of considering hiring me. I decided when I took this job, I was not going to be holding out for future political jobs, to maybe work for a Nikki Haley or someone, because I wanted to be able to do this job and say the unvarnished truth of what I feel, not have to toe some Can kind I of party line. I ask a question about the Never Trumpers. Why is it that the tipping point is election denial? What happened to attacking the handicapped oh, or whatever, the, uh, uh, or grabbing, grabbing women or attacking the military, did, all of that? Did, I think different people made conclusions at different times. I made the decision I wouldn't support him again in June of 2020. It was actually during George Floyd and his handling, because I thought he showed a lack of character. Wow. I didn't resign then. I considered it. Um, I think different people come to different conclusions, but the most harmful thing he ever did was January 6th. We've never seen something like that in our country. He tried to disenfranchise 80 million people. Policy is one thing. You can, you can have those debates. Terrible character is something. We've had a lot of men in power, I'm sorry, who've used their power, who have abused women. It is not okay. I never apologize. I never will cover for that. But this is something that's so beyond the pale what yeah, happened. And he was but beyond a surrogate for, she was beyond a surrogate for Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. She was someone who participated in those calls to the Michigan electors, asking to them. To try to disenfranchise Yeah, so black I, I tend to think 
when you're, you've taken it that step, there's got to be a hard stop eventually. We are talking about a democracy and its processes, and we already have a major distrust, not only in the Congress, but in the media, in the Supreme Court. You cannot continue to fuel that, and I think this takes away some of the integrity that I think news organizations have always tried to do, which is you're asking journalists who sat side by side fighting this conversation itself for years, having to fact check in real time. Mm -hmm. You've put that all on them and now you sit them next to someone. Mm -hmm. And I just think that not only puts everyone in there in a precarious position, it, it calls into question more trusting the media well, and can, the lack can, thereof. And to that point, can I, can I say this? You know, I think journalism for a long time was you give both sides equal um, weight. Yeah. Objectivity. To, and... it's, it's objectivity. Journalists must be objective. And journalism has changed because people no longer agree on basic facts, right? Mm -hmm. And so journalism has to respond to that. And I, I just want to put a button on it by quoting Lester Holt, because he re was receiving the Edward R. Murrow Award for Lifetime Achievement in Journalism in He's 2021. Amazing. He's amazing, and that is one of the most prestigious journalism awards. He said this, the idea that we should always give two sides equal weight and merit does not reflect the world we find ourselves in. Decisions to not give unsupported arguments equal time are not a dereliction of journalistic responsibility or some kind of agenda. In fact, it's the opposite. Providing an open platform for misinformation, for anyone to come and say whatever they want, can be quite dangerous. Our duty is to be fair to the truth. Yeah. And that is what is missing. Yeah today in this conversation, and that is what I think NBC News missed. And again, Lester Holt used to be at NBC News. Well, I, I'm yeah. just, you know, it's, it, I'm not sure what they were thinking, because Rachel Maddow put it very succinctly. Why would we, why would, when we're trying to put a better face and do a better job, yeah. why would you put a, a a, what do they call it? A, election an election denier. A neck election denier, but it was a I was liar? a pickpocket in the TSA. Yeah, all of those things. All, that was my favorite. All of, <laughs> but all of those things. Why would you knowingly? And 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 NBC has to take some heat. And Lester Holt, by the way, he still, still at works NBC. there. Yes. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yes. Works. But this is this is on NBC. Yeah. What is it you were trying to do? Because you can find Republicans. But you didn't find a Republican. You found someone who was part of trying to take down the country. Yeah, right. And why and did you think your people would not yes. be... Why would you think your people wouldn't be upset about it? And she's named in the you indictment. Know, she's in the indictment.